kind of their comfortable strategies, they tend to run them a lot. We saw that quite a bit at Starlighter Season 12. We didn't see that many games of them from the group stage, but it seemed clear after that one Enchantress DK opening, they just dominated that game, and it felt like a strategy they were going to go back to. To me, Secret were completely ready for it. They had a very quick response with the Drow Visage, and they knew that IG were likely to run that opening in at least one game this series. Yeah, and I think more than the Drow Visage, the Razor pick, probably something very premeditated this series as far as what they can do against the DK pick and just to kind of deal with that kind of a, a play from IG. And it fights well in the early game against those pushes. Plasma Field, great for its counter push. And Razor just generally can build very tanky to be able to fight early on. Well, with that said, the team's getting ready to grab the runes. We're going to go ahead and introduce them. On the Radiant side, we've got Team Secret beginning with Puppy. He'll be playing the Shadow Priest. We have S4 on the Razor. The Phoenix will be handled by Mr. Zai in the off lane. So I think the Cloud9 have also run quite a bit in that support role as well for Big Daddy, but this time around Secret could be running as a core. Kuroki on the Visage, he was dominant in the one game we saw him on on this hero in the group stage and something that, or in the playoffs I should say, and historically it has been one of his best support heroes. Arteezy rounding things out as the Drow Ranger. On the Dire side, we have Invictus Gaming, burning your offlane Weaver with the Deso Cosmetic already picked up, looking snazzy there. Faith, going to be moving around a lot early, potentially, as the Shadow Demon in the mid lane. We'll go 430 on the Dragonite. He's going to have a tough matchup, as you mentioned. Off in the jungle will be the Enchantress, for now, missing from the map, and that does leave Luo. They're actually going to give the Darkseer the safe lane, so they are not running him in the offlane. That's the important point to know. When you have Burning in the offlane on Weaver and a safe lane Darkseer, that means IG are going to look to be aggressive. Faith joins Burning down bottom on Shadow Demon, and you've got to expect this Enchantress is going to be roaming a lot early on, either towards the mid lane or maybe even more likely towards this bottom lane to help out Burning, get his farm, and get some kills on the very vulnerable Drow visits. These heroes do not cope well with games. This is a, potentially a really good Weaver game. Looking at Secret, they have no reliable stuns whatsoever. Their best tool for dealing with the Weaver is probably that Drought Silence for a certain stage of the game, but going later, it's going to be up to Kuro to have some amazing familiar stuns, or they are not just, they're just not going to be able to lock him down at all. Yeah, I really like the way IG have lane things as well. The Darkseer is a good matchup against Phoenix in the top lane. That's where Luo should be able to outfarm Zai. Zai does not last hit amazingly well in Phoenix, although the Precision Aura does help. And then Luo can also rotate into the jungle, take advantage of the camp set with that Iron Shell. I am wondering for IG, are we going to see any early movements for them? For now, the lane's going okay. The Darkseer is dominating, as you mentioned, but the other two lanes are struggling. Burning, not getting his early farm. Neither uh, is the solo mid DK for 430, though you really would not expect it. Razor versus DK, very disadvantaged to begin with, and then you've got the Precision Arc coming in. That is just simply not a lane you can win as DK. Yeah, so they're going to look to get on the move soon. There was one Shockwave creep towards mid lane early to help out 430. 430 now going to look to set for kill. He's got no damage, but they should be able to get the first blood. One Sentinel stun. There's a second as well, and it's four. Brought down by 430, who gets the last hit as well. Very important, considering he only had four last hits. A lot of IG fans in the house, man. They're, they were excited for that one. And it's something S4 expected undoubtedly would happen at some point this game, but he didn't know exactly when the gank was going to come. So unfortunately, didn't have any vision on the initial smoke. Well played by IG. And they're going to transition into the enemy jungle now, perhaps looking for Puppy, as he is off doing a bit of stacking. It's just a great little bait from Dragonite in the mid lane. It's like, okay, you can static link me, keep on chasing, keep on chasing. Bam, there's your disruption. And now the next move coming out is going to be very important. You don't want to just get that one kill. You need to keep the aggression up. And Faith, unfortunately, does not get the disruption off. He tried to come around the corner and catch Puppy out, but unsuccessful. Well, we had a poll about who won the draft, and I think it was still ongoing after that gank, which is where suddenly it turns out to be close to 50-50. 51% voting here for Secret. Again, guys, to participate in those polls, just go to redbullbattlegrounds.com, and they are live. But for now, we're back underway where Burning is likely to start getting a little more space here. As long as IG are occupying the secret jungle, he's not going to be under the same pressure he was at the start of the game. Yeah. The early start for him was not good. Just on 6 CS for now, but that's very likely to change. If this, cre if this lane's pushed up, Arteezy can't really farm unless the supports are shielding him. Oh, they him. found him. Disruption to start. Follow-up stun to follow. The silence coming out and just gets run over. Now the dive under Crow with the swarm there. A little shadow poison Two giving some extra strikes. vision. They might just be able to kill him off. Solo pops the stick Triple. trying to survive. Still slow down. Arteezy also dropping. Surrounded by the 
set times. They get the visage. They don't get Artur, though. Pushes them back. Here comes Puppy with the heal, but I don't know if he can get out. Has to juke. Puts on his Nikes and begins to dance. Suddenly, Faith in danger. May end up dropping one more to auto attack. They get him. Nice turnaround by oh, Team man. Secret. Looks Nicely like it could have been a lot RTZ. uglier. Yeah, that salve at the perfect time when he was about 50 HP gets around the corner and just kind of baits the Shadow Demon in a bit further. I don't think Faith needed to go so deep. He had a triple poison sack on Visage and he had the kill even without diving underneath. But still great aggression from IG, making their intentions known from the get-go. Yeah, score now 3-1. to one. Technically for IG, a, a win there as far as the kill exchange goes, but they are still dominating the CS charts for Secret right now. We see three of the top four on their side. The Dragon Knight will be very happy with his involvement in the first blood, but uh, Secret, a, a lineup that can give up a couple of kills and still come out even or potentially even on top because of their Drow aura and the five ranged heroes. Yeah, the analyst talked about it. it's all about the timing with the Drow Visage. You don't have to have an amazing lane stage, but if you can get that T1 tower to T1 tower timing, get your Roshan at a reasonable time, and then just snowball from there. This lineup really kicks up and gets steam around the time Drow hits level 6, 10, 15 minutes in the game, you start pushing all the towers, and then you never look back. And that's something IG are very wary of, and they want to make sure they get a lot done here in the lane stage, because they will be very vulnerable to that secret aggression later on. And to me, the big hero that can be the X factor when the push comes is Luo. Not only having a great start in terms of CS, but Darkseer got a pretty big puff, buff in 6.84. The the wall lasts 45 seconds, I believe it is, at all levels. It used to be 15 seconds at level 1, but because of that, I think it's a, even early game going to be a bit more difficult than what Secret may expect to push in. Yeah, I can definitely see Darkseer being kind of the key IG hero. They gave him the safe lane, but he may go down top lane. Top Luo, very low on HP. The Fire Spirits burn him down. Zai with a solo kill. Nice dive there, but they're making a go now. Bottom onto Artor for deploying the swarm. It actually has a bit missed time here. Doesn't get it on. Oh, it does get it actually. Now the turn. The Phoenix rotates in. Zai looking for several kills. Burning. Can he get out of the burn zone? Barely able to escape, but they already lost two around the map. That secret chasing for a bit more. Out come the spirits on the 430, but he'll be healthy. Meanwhile, in the woods, Chuan. I mean, I'm playing a little peekaboo here, but S4's found him. The troll trap, gonna buy him an escape plan, at least for now. Puppy also meandering in, and Chuan yep. has finally been evicted from this secret <laughs> jungle, but feels like he got the job done already. Yeah, that was a one-for-one -one trade. The, the carry for a support, and IG will be very happy. Not only did they get a one-for-one -one with a decent trade, all five secret heroes TP bottom. The Razor went down bottom, as did the Phoenix from top lane. Oh, Burning just walks in and takes it in the mouth from secret. That was a punch right there, and now they look to turn this one. Ion Shell deployed, going on to RTZ. The early wall comes out. Something we didn't used to see on Darkseer, but we sure are now. A hasted 430, or surge, I should say, getting pushed all around. And wants to go back in. A little dangerous to dive this tower against a potential grave turnaround, though. Really like the surge with a hero like Dragon Knight, because he does really need a... He's often the one running and looking to initiate. More so than a Shadow Demon this game, I think it's going to be Ferrari on the front lines, especially once he gets some items, and he can benefit a lot from the Darkseer surge. Well, Zai now gonna cross paths with Chuan. There is a bit of a stun coming out. Follow up Troll Trap trying to force out that Icarus dive. Perhaps they disrupt him. Oh, cool Soul Catcher, he might actually go down to this aggression. Turns with the Fire Spear, so suddenly the auto attack's not available. And in comes reinforcements in the form of a dive forward combined with a plasma field. Secret take down two, and now bottom looks like burning. Oh, actually, Luo continue to engage with Curl here but no follow-up. We're doing a lot of damage. You can kind of see the potency of this Dazzle for Puppy, though. The Shadow Wave doing a lot of help and assistance against the Iron Shell damage, and something to kind of keep note of here. Oh, uh, now 4.30. Oh they just keep on going in. One at a time to the Drow, and he'll drop another. another. Now Faith could be next. Disruption's there, but he gets purged a little bit. The chase comes out. They need one more auto attack, and they find him. He sc scrambles to the south, but the field clips him again. Hi, G. No frost Losing arrows, no problem. Momentum. Arteezy just chasing people down with a triple Wraith Band boots. He's going purely for that assistive build in the max precision aura. And not done pressuring the mid lane. They want the T1 tower. They have the purge from the, <laughs> the Razor. It seems that's all they need when the disruption comes out. Yeah. They've got no initiation. There's no poison touch, no frost arrows, no slows or they, really anything. But they, they can five men. Uh, Burning trying to engage on S4, but he just can't get in close. He's not tanky enough, not farmed enough to make that fight happen. As they did force out the Supernova, Zai has another dive available. They need a 430 stun here, and 
Well, won't get it in time, but now Bernie comes in as well. There's no way out for Zai if he gets run down. But aside from potentially a grave, Puppy getting in position, burning silence, drops again. Nice pick off by Secret. The wall deployed, but only on S4. His illusion not going to do a hell of a lot, and now the turn. 430 gets one, but was it worth it? Just the Phoenix for two cores. IG making poor trades here. They do end up getting the Drow, which somewhat equalizes it. I feel like IG need to fight around Secret's lack of mobility a bit more. They don't have any good lockdown. They don't have any good slows. You need to kite them around and not try to just rush into them. IG, I think, getting a bit overconfident, but the damage output from Secret. You've got five range heroes, all with precision aura. Everybody becomes a carry at some point, and already Drow Ranger has max precision aura, point and marksmanship, triple wraith band. This is all you need for all of even the support heroes to start right-clicking hard in these fights. DK only has the two points in Dragon Blood, so his armor isn't even up that high yet. Now, Gods, the analysts talk about it, and a lot of more experienced Dota watchers and fans know you see Drow Visage, you know they want to go for a time beat push. Later on in the game, generally these lineups tend to fall off. For IG, how do they withstand this stage of the game? Like, what is the next step for them? Losing the tier one mid, obviously not good news. They're getting out farmed quite a bit here. How do they salvage this game, and what's going to be the key turning point item wise or level wise for you? I think they want to use their smokes pretty readily here. Try and find pickoffs using the 430 initiation off the Dragon Knight. They're kind of getting out farmed as well as out strategized right now. And the one way to negate that and to slow down the push is to find a pickoff. Secret can't really five man if you manage to isolate someone, even if it's just the visage at the top lane. Whoever it may be, find a pickoff, then fall back and look to catch up on farm. Because right now, their lack of core items is a big problem across the board on all their heroes. Whereas on the secret side, you've almost got a, you've already got a mech completed. Luo's going for this arcane boots. He's not near any core items. Dragonite's just got a bracer. Weaver's got nothing. None of their cores are close to even their first basic items. All oh, secret, Radiant's looking to make a bit of a move here into attack. the dire jungle. Arteezy moving together with Zai. They're converging with five heroes on the top lane. But meanwhile, IG might suspect a move like this because gods, there's nobody defending bottom. So. Even if they don't get the kill here, just looking for the Radiant tower more than anything, they're starting to close the noose a bit. The Very burning. Hard to initiate. Oh, he needs to be silenced, but he got off the Sakuchi just in the nick of time, and they can't prevent him from scurrying away. He'll have another one. Engage onto Puppy, wants to force out a spell or two here, but has to stay out of range of those familiar stuns. Nice job of stalling this, by burning. This is okay for Seeker, though. They, they came up top to push. If they're not getting a kill, that's it's still a decent trade for them if they're not losing towers well, elsewhere on the map. Dire squad had their glyph their available pressure. on the tier one, didn't pop it. And I think they fortified late there, so they're not going to have a glyph for the, the tier two. Razor will TP back bottom to defend, but that means the mid lane may be left undefended for Secret. Still, IG making pretty good adjustments of their own. They pressure bottom in for so TP out. They're going to get a tier one mid, so it ends up being two tier ones. Maybe Secret take a tier two top, but with the S4 backing off to defend, they're going to lose one of their key fighters. The big thing if you're IG, if you start looking at the items on the Secret side, you see the Medallion on Kuro. You see this triple Wraith Band into Bracer from Dro Ranger, so it looks like you'll see even the drums on Dro Ranger. Yeah, no Mask of Madness, no Midas, just early phase basic items to fuel that push. Exactly. And your IG, you know they are going all in on this early game push. They're not saying, okay, let's just go for the push, but if it doesn't work, let's build towards the late game. They're saying, no, we're going to take Roshan with the medallion. We're going to go from tower to tower. Even Dro Ranger going for the most early game item possible in the drum, drum of endurance, something you almost never see. This is going to be very hard to deal with. And that's where on the IG side, you're going to have to spend your money as soon as possible to try and cope with this push. Their general game plan right now seems to be, let's play a little keep away, let's split push with Birding or have him be the one that stalls, knowing that there's no Doom or easy initiation onto a Weaver, uh, some sort of reliable range stun. They don't have it, like a Rubik, for example. So let's just stall and let's wait until we're actually in position to take these fights. Faith will get engaged upon, but Seeker can't really follow it up. And all the while, Burning's off in the bottom lane applying pressure, Luo holding the line mid, and Secret not yet taking that tier two. IG, nice counter, resp nice response overall to the, the Secret onslaught. Yeah, like, kind of like you mentioned, they just want to make sure they're always counter pushing, even if it's just Burning. Unfortunately, Burning, there's familiars in his way. This is kind of enough almost to deal with some of the split push. And it is a big tool for the Secret push, though. They are yeah. taking this tower down, but. Not as quickly as they otherwise could be. Those familiars being somewhat dealt with by Burning. At least he keeps the tower shoved in, but it looks like the tier two top will fall. Secret getting it pretty fast. The good move for IG is they're kind of pushing both lanes. It doesn't really matter who, as long as you're pushing out both the other two lanes, Try and, try and force as much secret resistance and as possible. And they want to force this TP back, Forget maybe Roche. multiple. Okay, secret more than anything, just wanting IG to come home, but IG not answering the door. They're off at a friend's house right now on the other side of the world and trying to spam that wave out. They have the Shadow Poison. 
Well, he's being maxed out here in 430, continuing to go with the Breathe Fire. Lua's being chased. He couldn't actually TP back because a Familiar was following him, so he had to be worried about a Familiar canceling his TP in. Good chip damage from Secret. Now, they do start to fall behind in experience when they group up like this, though. Something that is a trade-off for them. Yeah. Uh, the farm advantage is only 2,500, but they just feel like they've got a composition that can just slowly chip away at this tower and... I think they, well, they ride with that. For IG, there are a couple of key levels and items coming out. The big ones for me are on the Darkseer. He's getting close to level 11, and the mech, if not complete, is about to come out. And with those two items, IG's high ground defense gets a whole lot scarier. Or that item in that level, I should say. They finally get some breathing room here on the IG side. Secret gonna bottom lane puppy dive onto yeah. Puppy, and he might not be able to get out of this one. Where's the backup for him? He doesn't have it yet. Burning finds the solo kill, and that really takes the wind out of the Secret sails. Yeah. Gonna have to back off that top lane, and they might even lose another off in their own jungle potentially. The visage of Kuro being chased a bit. Chuan trying to deal with him and slow him down. Working on those familiars, can't actually get any, but they do get their mech. A Darkseer level 11 is now officially online. Yeah, big th big things for IG there, and just having more space and time to farm whatever items they can. The Dragonite's up to 2,000 gold. Let's see where 430 goes. This is, to me, not the best Shadowblade game. It's not like when you're kind of steamrolling, your DK's doing well, you're pushing down towers. Shadowblade, great for initiation tool, but I feel like you just need something to help him fight, stay alive. BKB always a possible mm. item, but he needs armor this game. BKB doesn't really feel that great. You're up against the Medallion, the Visage physical damage, the Drow Aura, the Static Link physical damage. It, it does feel like maybe you just want to go straight into something like an AC or even an armlet, perhaps. It's nice against the, like, oh, there's still a lot of nuke damage. Soul Assumptions, Razor Nukes, and Phoenix Fire Spirits very annoying. Speaking of which, I don't even know if they wow. need it. They do throw one out. Easy takedown for Secret in the top lane. IG not going to be happy about that, but it is it is just one of the consequences of the gameplay. You're going to spread the map a little bit. You're stalling and waiting for key levels and items to come out, and as a result, occasionally yeah. Secret are going to find pickoffs. That's a kind of semi-acceptable loss. You're pressing the T1 tower, forcing Secret to have five heroes at their T1 tower defend means they're not taking out Roche and they're not pushing the other towers, the outer towers on the map. Maybe they could transition top lane off of that, but it's a long walk from the top tier one to the enemy tier three. During that time, burning, split pushing bottom lane, and will force rotations back bottom, or the tier two maybe just to be clay. Oh, Luo might get caught out in the mid lane. It was a smoke from Secret. He surges, though. <laughs> There's not a whole again, lot they no could do about it. They're going to try to run him down a bit further, but backup incoming from Faith. May need to disrupt Zai here. Throws out a couple of fire spirits. Lane into with the auto attacks. Another surge. A long reign around the world is burning. Just <laughs> Says, great, I'm gonna push your yeah. tower. Finally getting some damage in, and Secret just lacking that initiator that can reliably start the fight. That's the play to make if you're IG. You know Dark Series just... It, it, he walked in, revealed the smoke, and he's fine. If anything, I feel like Secret should just made a beeline to Roshan. Even if IG sees you walk into Roshan, if you have the stronger lineup to fight, they're not going to come. They're just going to keep split pushing. But they're very worried about the amount of pressure Burning's doing in this bottom lane. And as though the creep cutting with Sakuchi wasn't enough, now he's got a haste room. So unless you get that instant silence off, you're not killing him. And Gods, you question whether Shadow Blade okay. is the right item, but he is going to pick one up here. Looks like he really wants to be able to just spread the map and prevent Secret from ever getting to a group up and fight position. I think that might have been scouted by a Radiant Observer Ward that just expired off in their jungle. It's burning. It's going to back off the top lane. Hasn't actually picked oh, up. It it's hasn't still expired. back in the he, stash. Okay. The ideal scenario with this pickup is you win a fight instantly off of it. You want to use this to try and get to the Dazzle. So you can't... Get, if you go in the draw or the Razor in the front lanes, they're very tanky hard to deal with. And chances are they get graved and still get off most of their spells. And that's where this item pickup is going to be... You want to try and keep it secret and get that one big fight off of it. I or mean, at least a big pickup. Now Someone a jump on the Zai in the top side of the map. He does have Supernova, but forcing it out would be pretty sweet for IG. Not able to do it. Well, Dive away, and now the Shadow Blade's ready. If Zai sticks around, he will not that have an easy escape. That just one. expired, too. Oh, what timing here for IG, but he is backing off. Seems a little suspicious. Even if you don't get a kill with this item, though, gods, one of the benefits is it might force Secret to play a little scared, and already we can see they're not really very far ahead for the type of draft they're running. I believe it was like 2,000, 2,500 gold. It feels more and more like Secret with the items they went for, the draft in general, really have to start finding pickoffs and objectives. I love this from Lua, who's just like on mobile Roche duty here, trying to scout them out as they go into Roshan, but wasn't active enough and they do manage to sneak by. Well, for now, S4 holding the mid lane. Secret going to work, but look who's in position already. Faith might scout this, this out. This just drops too fast. Even if they know, they're really not going in. Secret will grab a much needed 
objective yeah. here in that Aegis. Seems like IG had just kind of accepted the fact that at some point they go in there. Not only it's no longer a medallion, it's now a solar crest upgrade from Visage. This, this is, is this is such a good item. You just throw it and for this type of draft. You throw it on the razor. He sits in the front lines and. It may prompt Bernie to rush something like an MKB a little bit sooner than what he normally would. He's got to finish off that first, I feel like, tanky item comes before, and it looks oh, like it will be These towers, they're just melting. We barely even saw them enter the mid lane, and all of a sudden, tier two down, bottom lane being pushed, and the line gets drawn. It's going to be a, a very obvious game plan here from Secret. Let's roll up the last three outer towers, and we either go high ground or we start looking to starve IG and punish anyone who's on the split push. IG, let's see if they can hold this off and play for late game. They're Again, under the though, gun now. Burning, split pushing, forces one TP back. So I don't see Secret trying to push high ground with just four heroes when Burning can TP in and engage. This is just not a, that's not a fight Secret when they're taking a 4v5 without their big, biggest team fighter in Phoenix. They don't have, I don't oh, they've got sentries. They do throw out a bit of shadow poison okay, though. They've they, seen the shadow poison. The heal looking to counter it. IG do hold the tower and Burning did rotate back. Uh, Smart from Secret to back off. They could have traded a tier two. If they kept Phoenix, they can trade tier two for tier two, but Phoenix TPs, then they have to back off and they can't commit. See, as four grabbing the BKB. Got to imagine he's going to be the one in the front lines here. And at the same time, Burning is starting to get the damage items out. Of already 100 gold on top of the double Mithril Hammer, Deso will be the choice and a much needed tool to try and deal with the massive armor that Secret have. They have the Gravekeeper's Cloak. The Super Medallion, as you mentioned, the Solar Crest. On top of that, you've got the Drow Ranger, has tons of agility. Razor generally gets a little bit of plus armor with the mech, and you need th this and more, probably, to try to take these heroes down. Yeah, Burning needs to be very careful that he doesn't get caught out by the Fire Spirits. That's going to be one of the biggest... I saw the Mithril Hammer thought, I think he's just going to go BKB against the Phoenix, but without a BKB, if he gets hit by a Fire Spirit in a team fight, he's suddenly dealing very little damage. Doesn't have the best attack speed with this Desolator. Still an amazing pickoff. If you can get past the front lines, get onto the squishy heroes like the Visage or the Dazzle, bring them down early with a DK stun, you're looking fantastic if you're IG. Now, Secret, not yet fully committed to the high ground breach attempt. For now, just keeping the lanes pushed out. They are looking to take down this last outer tower. They will get it, not denied. IG, the only thing that stands between Secret and a lane of Rax now is the tier 3. And the one at top has already taken some chip damage. About 21 minutes in, generally, with this type of push strat, you're ideally looking to end the game around the 30 to 35 minute mark, or at least take a lane or two of Rax by then. Maybe they may earlier. have a second Aegis if they want to wait a little bit longer. Just about to say, Artizia has 4,000 gold. I think his idea is another BKB, and that's exactly what it is. They've got two BKBs and about two minutes still on this Aegis. And they can try Snowball. Well, they can just try Death Ball off of this and go for Elena Brax. Oh, they might catch him, though. Artizia backing off right into yes, 430's waiting it. arms. Now gets stunned. The BKB's not there. By the time he gets it, it'll probably be too late. Aegis goes down. With that, they're going to lose the Drow Aura just for a second here. They wanted Arteezy to just join the push late because he oh, offers so he much already. He ends up he trying to chase them back. Arteezy back. He didn't realize the DK had TP'd and Burning forced out his 10 second BKB. I don't know if this is going to stop them fully though. Secret seems like they're sticking around mid. Yep. And to be honest, it is your carry, but at the same time, what the Drow really brings is less her own auto attack and much more that aura. You've got the familiars, the Razor to be the frontliners. Secret might go anyway, and it looks like they're sticking around for it. Still a worry when he doesn't have BKB. I guess, like you say, S4 on the front lines, it's going to be Arteezy just sitting back as much as possible. They are going to make a go here, Luo. Jump in quickly, dropping the wall. Now the turn, coming out with the egg. Well, no one focusing it. Everyone burning to bits. Faith will be forced to self-disrupt and burning on the back lines. Now looks to make his way in. A bit of chip damage to the south from the Weaver, but they've already lost the tower. Still sticking around. Everyone healthy. They may even go again, gods. The wall going to be down about 30 seconds or so, maybe less, and IG may struggle to hold the line from here. And you know, the second onslaught, you're going to have that Arteezy BKB back in about 15 seconds, so... I don't even think they need it. IG just can't get on him. The Phoenix jumps in, and they just run away. They need the Doxia vacuum, which is back up now, so it may well, Another back, oh. he catches out two, maybe three into the wall, and that will slow them down, but secret. At this point, they know the wall's about to expire, and... I don't know if they care. They just stick around and keep on going. Now the wall down, and this is the window secret. They do not want to deal with another full back wall, and in they go. IG up against it now. Do they sack the lane of Rax, or do they look to commit? Still no answer. Not fully going in. Burning just slowly plinking away from the south. Tries to go on Arteezy, but they swoop through. Almost killing up Faith. Another back, but no follow-up. There's no wall for this. Still the Rax stand. 
Burning doing a good job of stalling, but he's just not getting through their armor. He can't damage yep. them enough. They're too tanky with their armor. The constant shadow wave coming out from Puppy as well, keeping everyone healed up. They know Burning's off to the side being pesky, and they've got sentries they covering can just every ignore entrance. Him. He can't even kill a support. Normally with the Weaver Desso, you look for those easy pickoffs. One lane of rags about to fall here in full IG. Already losing the range racks and still no sign of being able to stop the aggression. The melee falls as well, and Secret looking for a bit more. They're going to chase on to Faith. They got off the silence with the Gust. No follow-up just wall. yet. Uh, it is up, and for Secret with no Aegis, this may be the time to back off, wait for Roche number two, and then look yeah. to take a second lead of Rack. If IG overcommit to a chase, they can turn and fight with their double BKB, but there's no need to, but since they're very much playing objective gaming. They're going for lanes of Rack. They don't really care about the fights as much, but... With that, they get a big lead. 24 minutes in a lane of racks and about a 10,000 gold lead, 3,000 experience. Kind of mentioned earlier, yeah, the experience doesn't work out too well when you're constantly five manning, but ultimately, Dota's game of racks, Dota is a game of this throne here in the middle, and that's what IG have to protect. Yeah, and they've made some decisions to help and deal with that. They stopped five manning after they got the tier two top. They slowed the game down a little bit, get a Midas up. Let's farm double BKB on our big carries, and then we'll look for a second round of momentum into a push. and. As a result, experience has largely equalized, and I mean, gods, this is all according to the script for Secret, sure, maybe a, an unfortunate BKB usage for Arteezy, a couple of extra deaths for Secret, but when you run this type of strategy, if you get a lane of racks by around 20 to 25 minutes, it is exactly what you're looking for as far as the overall gameplay. Absolutely, and the damage output from Secret, like, the Phoenix and Visage alone force IG just to crumble. That was where everyone on the IG side was down to like below half HP. They were forced to run away from the supernova rather than fight it. And that was without the physical damage. That was just plasma filled, soul assumptions, Phoenix with dive, fire spirits, and supernova. IG did not have a good answer to it. And you, you know, I was looking at the Weaver pick, and one of the things I thought was, well, the double auto attack that occasionally comes out could be a way to help deal with the Phoenix and get it down more quickly. But Bernie wasn't there to focus the egg. He was trying to backstab them. And even if he was, everyone just takes so much damage from the Phoenix supernova that. They really don't feel like they have an answer for it yet. Once the Weaver gets a BKB, maybe the Dragonite gets a little more farm, picks up an Assault Caress, then perhaps IG can actually focus the egg, but at least for the next five minutes, it seems like if Zai gets it off in a good position, IG just have to let it go and, and run away. And I think the most impressive thing about this, the way Secret has played this draft is that even throughout all this five many, they've kept all their T2 towers alive until just now where they deny the bottom one. The fact that none of the IG split push could even take a T2 tower while Secret took all the outer towers, took a lane of Rex, really says something as to how proactive and like well coordinated they were. They would defend the split push with one hero. In mid lane it was Arteezy, there in bottom lane it's the Phoenix, in the past it was Phoenix TPing top, but then somehow still join up for a five man push that can take Rex, take tier twos without losing much in exchange. Well, now it all becomes about the second Roshan, and the question is, do IG let it go, or do they try to contest? I think they Secret don't... may push before that, though. I think they're actually just going to say, we don't need, they don't really need Aegis. They didn't have Aegis when they got the first lane of Rax. You may be right. They ward up like they might want to go for the Roche, but then they start to congregate towards the bottom side of the map, and they've got the Alpha Wolf for Arteezy, a little bit of bonus damage, the team TPing in, and it looks like the whole gang is getting ready for that high ground breach. Potentially, maybe not. They may they may have had second thoughts about it. The big thing is Puppy's got a gem now as well on himself, so you can de the map, make it so that IG are always going to be kept guessing as to far as what Secret are doing on the map. And Again, IG, back to the split push. Burning going to go top. This is either gonna, probably going to be an uncontested T2 tower if IG want to try and breach high ground, but otherwise they may look to reset, push out lanes, go for Roshan before a push. I'm curious how many... I, I believe Secret have at least one pair of boots of travel here, and that may be the answer to what Birding's looking to do, is just being able to quickly join the lanes. No, it looks like they don't yet, but if, they're, if they find themselves struggling to deal with the split push, that's where you can get a pair of BOTs on someone who can deal with the Weaver and then join the five man. IG have double BKB, both Dragonite and Weaver. This is as good a timing as it gets for IG to make a high ground defense. For now, though, Familiar's laying in hot and heavy onto this tower. Bottom lane, they pop the S4 BKB. He zones everyone out. Sure, he doesn't get a kill, but the tower's going to die because of it. Now the back wall on several heroes. Secret still surviving, though. They tank through this. They go oh, in. Beautiful Supernova. He may end up dying, but he's buying all kinds of time for the team. Burning is ready, ready Rex. Go about to drop Burning here. Burning is tall. trying. IG do hold on for now. With the wall here, they may be able to last as Burning tries to equalize the rack score slowly but surely in the top lane. 
and IG trying to prevent any TPs out. One will get away in RTZ in the tree line. Kuroki and Puppy, though, not being allowed to leave freely. A couple of familiar stuns and burning. Unable yet to in. claim racks. They do get Kuroki, though. Vacuum comes in, burning, re-engaging the radiant base while this is happening. Stuns there on the drag from the dragon. Going down. Visage still tanky and S4. Unable oh. to finish off, or Bernie unable to finish off him, I should say. Time lapse back goes in again. One more auto attack. He finds the solo kill. Arteezy can't do anything to stop this. Three secret heroes dead. Now they did take down the tier three bottom. They did some damage to the range racks. Some damage which will be healed off eventually on the melee. And they take the secret gem. I don't know who's making these calls, but whoever's telling Burning not to TP back is a genius. I don't know if that's Burning himself or the team back at base saying, no, just keep split pushing. We've got this hold. We don't need you to defend the T3 and the racks. That was just amazing decision making from IG to hold the high ground there. And when S4 TP's back, Burning outplaying the Razor and getting that kill as well. And some scary items are brewing here for IG. 430 complete the BKB. You have to imagine an Assault Caress is in the carts for him next. He's not that far off of level 16, and at that point, he can run down a lot of these secret heroes, and I think most importantly, perhaps, that Chuan Aghanim Scepter time Gods, time he's almost time. three quarters of the way there. And those Impetuses doing damage through BKB was what kind of chipped away at the Razor bit there. Both teams now posturing around the Roshan pit as the Familiars do scout at IG in there with a the medallion. The Fire Spirits are going to make this very hard for IG, though, really slowing down their ability to deal with the Roshan inside now. Zaps them and drives them back. This doesn't seem like the right time for IG yeah. to go. If the secret, they're a bit scared about running into because they know they need to have sentries down to deal with that Dragon Knight Shadow Blade. The, the big hero to worry about here is the Dark Seer. A back onto the high ground, a wall in the pit could devastate Secret, but yeah. if he's not there, it's going to be a freebie. And it looks like it will be a freebie. Secret claiming the second Roshan, and with that, guns, they may look to just barrel down the bottom lane and make this a two. To nothing Rax advantage. Burning's got to move. He's, he's kind of slow on the split push. They wanted to go for Roach, and as a result, this top lane was not being pushed out. And surprise, Secret show themselves mid lane. They're going to force IG to kind of throw everything down. IG have to get back and defend at some point. What they can do is push in mid and then maybe sweep in towards bottom. If they can bait out the wall, then there will be very little to stop Secret from just breaking right. down the where's, front door. Where's your TP? Sell your, sell your bottle. Oh, he's, is, he's heading there right yeah. now, but already this is going to be a little time. The wall comes out and the fight begins. 430 engaging with BKB. Doesn't have Dragon form for now. Just trying to deal with S4, who's doing a bit too much. Now the Shivas, the Supernova as well. It's up to Bernie to turn this. Focus on RTZ, who's was a bit far out in the front lines. Supernova stun will buy them some time, and now the Familiars going to start dropping here to the Weaver auto text, but not that quickly. Raid Rack's about BKB to go down. And they can't hold it off. The Wall wasn't really in the best spot, and Secret take a second lane of Rex. I think IG just were not expecting such a move from Secret to go through mid to the bottom lane. Secret say we don't need a creep wave. And they're going back in, it looks like. It's right. really hard to hit the wall when the heroes aren't like funneling up into that little choke point as they go up the ramp. Instead, they say, look, going through the mid lane, we're in open space. It's really, you can't get that good vacuum wall going through the open space that was mid lane. One secret on the high ground, you've lost your opportunity to get them at the choke. Blink, there's the vacuum. There's no wall follow-up just yet, though. Familiars resummoned, and man, they hurt. Luo gets disrupted. Nicely played. The stun comes out from 430, but he drops as well. Secret blasting their way through the IG defenses, searching for a 1-0 advantage in the grand finals. That will prompt to Darkseer buyback, but still no wall. Secret, tier three down and closing in on what could be a very decisive game one victory. Yeah, I mean, IG had all the items you could hope for at this point for a high ground defense. The BKB Shadow Blade on Dragonite. Weaver completed a BKB with the Crystallis. GG! Invictus Gaming getting demolished here in game number one. Well, what a way to start things off. The good old classic Drow Visage and